Salutations everyone, this is Razor giving you guys a Smash Ultimate Terry Guide Tips and Tricks, First Impressions, the whole nine yards. There's a lot of info out about Terry, but you know, there, there's people haven't really compiled things and, and you know, talked about everything that's been found about the character, so I want to go ahead and give it a go. First of all, you know, the best addition in this patch was the fact that they added this brand new character called Jigglypuff. Um, but they also added Terry, and he's really good too. I don't think he's top tier. Um, he just has too many weaknesses, especially against the top tiers. I think he would get shredded by Joker. He can't even hold a turn up to Peach and uh, Pikachu. I think all of those characters would just crush him. He also, I think, would struggle against Mario and uh, you know a lot of other characters. Even Falco, I think, has a lot of really good tools against him. But he's a very strong character, and he's not a super difficult character. Um, people, you know, obviously talking about the special inputs and, uh, you know, Terry has a lot of mechanics to the character more so than almost any character. Um, and they've been doing this a lot with DLC characters in case you hadn't noticed, um, because all the specials he can hold to get longer distance on all of them or make his neutral special faster or hold down to go higher with your up special, which we'll cover a little bit later on. And the fact that he has the special inputs like Ryu and Ken, where you use the actual inputs from the King of Fighters game to do stronger versions of his specials. And he also gains two additional specials in Buster Wolf and Power Geyser after he hits 100%. And one of the great things about all of these special inputs is that they're all super easy. They're way easier than Ryu's and a lot harder to mess up. There will be times where you might accidentally special in the wrong direction. Um, the, really the only two things that I uh, had trouble with playing Terry was, um, you know, getting the side special and the back special because he's got two different side specials if you go forward or if you go back with the B button. Um, uh, always going the right direction with one of those. Uh, especially if like I was in the air and you know we're gonna call that up with a pile of geyser every time that thing covers ledge it covers platform and top platform and there's no weak hit to it it's absolutely insane so he's got a, a pretty darn good comeback factor I, I wouldn't say you know it's it's quite like others I would account it mostly to aura but not as strong as Lucara's aura because it doesn't make him more powerful it just gives him two extra weapons uh, that are very good um, you can combo uh, forward tilt into Buster Wolf, and uh, like I showed, Power Geyser, that covers so many options. It comes jump from ledge, regular get up, you can combo into it from down tilt, you can switch the direction, hard reads, huge hitbox, super duper strong. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, and you can combo it out of uh, a jab. Um, you know, not a true combo, uh, but you can with the, with the Buster Wolf in certain situations. But all of Terry's moves are good. Every single one of them is really good. And they all really have a use. Some don't have like a ton of use. Like his forward smash is pretty slow. Very strong though. Easy punish, as you can see right there on the read. Or, or on a landing or an air dodge or something like that. It's very, very strong, but it's not that fast. It's got decent range. The down smash covers the ledge and it's pretty quick. Um, great for characters that don't have specials that snap to ledge, such as Terry himself in the Ditto. And his up smash is super duper fast, so you can do it out of shield, and it covers the a platform above you as well. So does up tilt. Up tilt seems to have a set knockback, um, and that it's you can set up for certain things. Up tilt into power geyser, for instance, is definitely a thing you can do. Um, forward tilt is a pretty decent get off me move. It's got good range and it's got intangibility on the foot as well. Uh, down tilt, very good. You can kind of use this when j you're not in jab range, but you can do a lot of the same combos out of jab. Down tilt, you can even down tilt into jab and cancel into a special, as we all know that you can do. But Terry, Terry's got a lot working for him in a variety of cases, you know, even before he hits 100%. So it's not like he relies on that. And I think there's a lot of things people are sleeping on uh, with the character. Um, when you come to a specials, you have uh, the normal neutral special, uh, which you can tap or you can hold. Obviously, you want to go for the tap so you can follow it up like a Thunder Jolt or a Mario Fireball uh, to kind of, you know, help your approach game. Because he can kind of struggle at approaches, but it definitely isn't one of the characters that you would say really struggles with approaches. Because he has a projectile 
it's kind of a weird projectile in the way it interacts with other projectiles. Some, it'll clank with some and with other projectiles, they'll just completely miss each other and they'll both just go their own way, right? Um, but it's really good. It covers the ledge um, and you can just kind of just throw it out there to cover one option and then read and rea or react to the other option and go for the grab or, you know, go for a special or something like that. All of his grabs have some utility. And see, that was the up smash real quick, real good out of shield. And it covers ledge. Very good for catching landings for people that, you know, oh, they just retreat to the ledge. They try to land to the ledge. Up smash gets them every time. Uh, he also actually has an invincible move out of spot dodge. It's uh, it's the same animation uh, of, uh, of up tilt, but like, slightly different so you know it's a, it's an up tilt and it's invincible so it's it's like the best anti-air in the game because it won't clank with anything and it won't lose to anything because it's invincible and that's something not a lot of people are talking about definitely has its uses he also has some broken shit such as um against ices he if he hits nana he or you know whatever the ice climber that's not being player controlled he can freeze them and become immune to anything him and the target that he hit and you know hope that'll probably get patched you know it's not the first time this has happened with ices just a very glitch prone character and another thing you can do with the up special is the aerial version um you can use this off stage to gimp uh recoveries it can also is pretty strong aerial version um you know if you just one half jump distance out there can get your kill lightning or just gimp somebody who doesn't have a very good recovery you can also short hop neutral special at the ledge that covers a lot more options and is uh a bit better than just normal neutral special to cover the ledge and you can set up for a dare there his dare spikes it's very fast it doesn't only have you know a couple active frames like you know certain dares in the game or you know one active frame or have a tipper mechanic or something like that so his dare is very good and it's quite fast on a full hop you can dare and uh and nair before you even hit the ground so covers a lot of options um if you jump at the ledge and dare that covers jump and then if you nair it covers normal get up and if they roll then you know you're absolutely fine so he he's he's definitely a really fun character because he has a lot of option coverages it's okay this didn't work i immediately go to this and his moves are so fast and fluid that it just it kind of all works together especially with his specials i really really like his back special not the forward side special but the back side special it's uh it's a kick and it's very good so at like zero percent or very low percents or on heavies an amazing combo to start off with is up throw up air back special it'll hit both times usually if it hits for one of the hits that's a 25 percent right off the bat if not that's a 36er and that, that's just a really good lead and you can combo up air into back special uh, through a variety of, of, of percentages back special seems to have a very set knockback like up tilt or up throw it, it's never going to kill but it's really, really good for damage, and it hits twice, and it's one of his best tools at dealing with projectile spam because it kind of flies over and uh, powers through it. It's also a good option to get back on ledge. It won't leave you as vulnerable as forward special punch version, and it will also, um, it also give you a little bit of more momentum and has a more active hitbox. It is also really good for damage, and it will be your best option when you're jabbing on shield. So if you're jabbing on shield, if you cancel special into down special or side special, um, if you want to use the uh, this, the special inputs or not, which are very, very easy to do, especially out of jab or out of nair, which is another fantastic nair into, down, or the, into his down special, is a power dunk. Um, that's absolutely crazy and power dunk is also like almost perfectly safe on shield in all circumstances So that's just really freaking good dare also just straight up kills and is a great spike as well uh, as you can see there as I'm giving the business to this Falcon and um, the the back special kick is your best option when you're jabbing on shield because if you use any other special you'll get shield grabbed or punished but if you're jabbing on shield and you recognize that then you do your back special and that will cross up their shield and there's no way that they can punish that 
and it also can hit once or twice. So it's a very, very safe move. You can use it as recovery. You can use it as an anti-air, as an anti-projectile, and uh, to, to cover ledges. It's just, it's very safe and it's very good. It'll never kill, but it's got pretty darn good damage with it. I should have done my back special right there, but... You know, Falcon Gami. They got, you know, they got they got some tools. They got some stuff. And at low percentages, that's going to be your best option for damage out of a, a jab or a nair uh, because you can hit twice with it. And the side special, obviously, uh, a very very strong move. Great for punishing. You know, similar to like Banjo's side special in that. You know, if, if someone's landing awkwardly, if they throw out something laggy and you're not like the full stage away from them, you just hit that side special, man. And that's that's going to kill, you know, 100 with special input easily on a lot of characters, um, especially if you're at the ledge. It can also call out some unsafe options from the ledge with it as well. You're not going to be able to true combo out of jabs with it. Some people are just going to give up. Or if you throw in a down tilt in there, that could you know mess mess up their their di or what they're expecting, and you can actually combo into side special as you saw me do right there. That was true, and we go for the neutral special gimp. Uh, I did die there. There is there is ways to do it without dying, if you're trying to uh, cover a much higher recovery than that. But I don't know if I could have actually made that recovery there. But had the stock lead. And died, you know, with, with without without a care in the world. So with the characters that have really bad recoveries, uh, that's gonna gimp and that's gonna kill even. And it's very very good forward special or forward smash to to call that out. So all of his specials have really really good utility. You have the down special, which is a fantastic mix up coming to ledge. So many people are going to think that you're gonna side special to ledge or just you know go to ledge. Your up special um, is. Uh, not going to auto snap he doesn't have any auto snaps to ledge unless you have like the the perfect distance of your up special and it, you know the, think of the foot as his arm as his hand if the foot is touching the ledge then you can recover you will snap uh, to the ledge if you get it just right like a climb hazard very similar in that way and we're gonna get that neutral special kill again on the little Mac on a higher recovery um, you know, anyone who likes to recover high, throw it in there. It also will cover the the platforms for free. It's a disjoint. It's safe. Fantastic. His up air is really, really good for juggling and for comboing. Nair very, very fast in your best combo tool from the air. Down air spikes. Uh, very fast, very good uh, kill power. And fair and, and back air, obviously he's always going to face your opponent, so you're not going to be throwing out a ton of back airs. It has more knockback than your fair does. Um, so, you know, you have, you know, certain opportunities to use it, but not so much as, you know, would like a, like a fox, for instance, just, you know, short hop bearing from ledge. You can rar, but as you, we all know with uh, Ryu and Ken, raring is just, you know, a little bit more difficult uh, for them to do and is a little bit uh, un un unnatural if you're used to things. Um, but in the end, and, you know, we're going to call out that laggy special with a special of our own. And go into this Mega Man. So I, I, I think he really struggles against projectiles. Not as much as some others. He does have a projectile on his own. But like I said, it's not going to interact with a lot of other projectiles that are higher up. They're just going to go past each other. And if, you know the character that has a projectile and a reflector, that can definitely cause problems. Or if they're just spamming you real hard. Um, this Me Mega Man was pretty much outplaying me for, uh, I would say, at least half of the game. And... I wasn't, you know, exactly beating him in neutral every single time. But I, you know, the comeback factor definitely comes into play in this game. I don't need a big comeback, but I'm just kind of able to just use the the extra special inputs after 100% to take care of a very, very heavy character uh, at the ledge. And it's, see, look right there. I killed fucking Mega Man. I killed Mega. He was he was at like 50% before that combo started. Ridiculous on a on a heavyweight like that. So obviously I don't think he had the most perfect DI in the world, but it is he has the options uh, against pretty much any matchup. You know there are characters that can ro low profile him very well, uh, such as Kirby, um, or or you know Pichu, and I think you know Pichu and 
Pikachu are already uh, going to be really strong against Terry because of you know their aerial approaches and their thunder jolts and their speed. And they're just going to be a little bit harder for anybody to hit. And Terry's going to struggle with that a little bit more than most. But he kind of has, you know, a little bit of something for everybody in order to take out what makes them powerful. And when you combine um, all of his specials, you can do any of his specials out of, out of, out of anything else. And they're pretty much all going to combo. Like, you almost don't even have to think about it in some circumstances. Go for side special uh, in the kick version usually because that's just more damage. Or go for the forward special if you got them on a down tilt or something where they're, um, they're popped up, right? And you can do the up special, especially if something isn't connecting and you want to just retreat to ledge. And if you do the special input, it will have invincibility. So it, his up special is absolutely fantastic. That will kill as well. Um, it's kind of like like this similar to like Sonic's up air um, in the fact that, you know, if you're top platform, you know, double jump up special, you'll kill him at 80. Um, it's 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 very good. Multi hit has invincibility if you use the special input, um, which is holding down, which I'll cover uh, right after this video. A little bit of uh, further explanation. But uh, this Mega Man should be having his way at me with these projectiles and the fact that I'm not very good against Mega Man. But the ability to rack up damage very quickly with Terry is what gives him that really good comeback factor um, combined with the new special inputs that he has, such as Buster Wolf, which killed that Mega Man below 100%. So here's the up special little tutorial. Here's the number tap up special, 16 damage, 5 hits, doesn't go that high. And if you hold uh, up, up B, you go a little bit higher, do the same damage and the same combo. But if you hold down, I think it's for 28 frames, you'll do 19 damage and nine uh, on the hits. But what a lot of people haven't covered, you don't need to crouch all 28 frames in a row. I think it's, um, and that was a failed attempt. Here, I get it on this one. Uh, it, see, I, I was not down, I was not down, and you can even DI your shield down as well. Um, it, so you can use it out of shield with invincibility, which is fantastic, but you can just spam crouch and I think it's as long as You haven't been outside of crouch for longer than eight frames You still maintain the charge that you had previously So it's a nice mix-up if the enemy isn't seeing it or like they think you're teabagging or something you Just come at him with that invincible move and it's absolutely fantastic from the ledge underneath the platform a ton of things so up special has a lot of utility it's not like super fast and well like like screw attack so you know it's not nearly as safe as some other up specials out there but it, it has more utility than most um the fact that you can have an invincibility on it uh, the fact that it's a pretty decent recovery for someone to challenge, right? It's not nearly as good as like Donkey Kong's because his hitbox is a little bit higher on his character, right? Um, but if you try to challenge uh, his rising tackle, you might have a bad time like you do with others. And here I was, you know, trying to finish things off there with the neutral special, but I finished it off the rising kick. So he's an awesome character because he'll always have a backup plan. And it's kind of like really easy to think about. He doesn't... Like, you don't have to, like, worry about, like, a ton of percentages on, like, what combo's here. It's like, he, he, if you land an air or a jab or, or a down tilt or, or you know, certain throws or, you know, weight and character depending, you, you'll always have a combo and you'll pretty much always have a kill combo as well at the ledge on any character 70 plus percent and up. So, he, he's, he's got a lot going for him. A really, really good... Uh, in the neutral, you obviously you want to use your neutral special to follow up like you would a Thunder Jolt or a Mario Fireball. Or, um, you know, so many people are used to that or they'll have projectile of their own. So what I'm mostly doing is I'm coming in with Nair or Dare Nair, as I mentioned before, because you have enough time to do both. And you can, you know, do a decent amount of uh, shield stun. It's to where it's pretty safe and whether you land it or not you can use your back special to cross up the shield then get a grab or something his grabs aren't fantastic um you know his uh i think it's his back throw will eventually kill but he doesn't have a kill throw per se up throw will never kill um i don't know if back throw uh will or if forward throw eventually kills maybe i'm mixing up my back throw and forward throw but one of them does eventually kill 170 180 right 
Um, but up throw, very good for for juggles at low percents. Like I said, up throw, up air, uh, back special. A down throw doesn't seem to have any good guarantees out of it, and that was true. Came from ledge, down tilt to, to geyser, and got the kill on a Donkey Kong. Such a good move. Covers everything. It's huge. It's strong. Very easy to hit. And the special input is very easy. Uh, like I said, the specials are way easier to hit than Ryu's or Ken's. I would say Terry's probably like about where Ryu and Ken are as far as how good they are. Granted, I think Ryu and Ken are underrated. Um, obviously, that Shoryu is a much better kill confirm tool uh, at all percents than what Terry kind of has going for him. Um, using the, uh, the any of the special inputs obviously will get you really good kills, but you know. You're, you're gonna have to get at 100% for that, but you know your your down special um, dunk, uh, the special input version is gonna be your best way to get kills out of jabs or or nares or any kind of combo that you're doing. It, he's very nice in that he can kind of combo anything into anything. And there, as you can see, uh, rising tackle the, will cover the ledge if someone gets a little bit too cheeky. Buster Wolf does have some super armor there, as you can see on startup. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll, I'll mess up the geyser at the wrong edge, but I don't think he's a very difficult character to learn, obviously. All the special inputs are super easy to do. Um, he's got very, very good punishes. His recovery isn't terrible. Like, you know, it's, it's better than Ike or Roy or Krom or Cloud or, or, you know, Hero without... A lot of EM, uh, MP, right? So you know he has the option to do a side special, and and then a an up special. He's not going to have fantastic um, horizontal momentum. Obviously, you want to hold the the B button for the rising tackle uh, to get you more distance, both uh, you know vertically and obviously a little bit more horizontally. Horizontally, since you can get it vertically, fair is really good in the ditto for edge guarding because he's not going to snap to ledge um a lot you're going to want to look for down specialing their rising tackle but if they want to like uh power dunk on you um or try to recover high then just fair 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 away and, and they're dead <laughs> like they're they're not going to come back or they're going to give you an easy opportunity to neutral special like that or a down smash and he's got a lot of great tools at the ledge, as you can see right there. His dash is absolutely amazing and uh, has really, really good dash dance. And we're going to go ahead and kill there with the neutral special on that edge guard. So it's it's like not as niche as you would think using the aerial version of the neutral special. Like I said, it's good for getting people off uh, or providing pressure on the platforms as well as getting kills on certain characters or really gimping any character if they're not using the recovery correctly off stage. So... Terry, very good character, very fun character. Uh, I, I think he's got to be high tier. Um, he's got so many tools going for him. He's going to be quite weak in a lot of matchups and is going to be you know, susceptible to spam and characters that have really good edge guarding tools, such as your Pikachus, your Peaches, your Daisies, your Jokers, uh, you know, maybe even your, your Wario's. So I think he's definitely going to struggle a lot against the best characters. So I, I would definitely be surprised if I saw a solo Terry main make it to winners in top eight in a super major. But he, he has the, the tools to do a lot against pretty much anybody. He doesn't rely on hard reads. He doesn't rely on a certain combo or a certain gimmick. Um, and, and, and that's kind of what's great about him. Although I feel like he is also quite balanced because he can get rushed down or camped out or edge guarded fairly easily with characters and players that are really good at that play style. So, uh, Terry, definitely give him a try. I don't think he's difficult at all to use. And this has come from somebody who, as you can tell, is not very good at the game, but, uh, Terry, one of those characters that can absolutely dunk on people that don't know what they're doing with their character because he's got a move called power dunk and you know what more than you need than that